there. Why don't you come a little bit closer? Even closer. Closer, closer, and stop. Whoa. Now this is close. Okay, now close your eyes. No peeking. Do you remember what was in front of you? With your eyes closed, everything seems to disappear. Okay, now open your eyes. What do you see? Look around you. Lots of stuff, right? All that stuff you see is made of what we call matter. Matter is what everything is made of. You're made of matter. I'm made of matter. This ball is made of matter. And everything in our world, on our world, and even the world itself is made of matter. Well, even though everything is made of matter, not everything is made of the same kind of matter. Some things are plastic, some things are metal, some things are wood, some things are watery. Well, there are lots of different kinds of matter, and we use our minds to figure out what's what. Let's play a little mind game. We'll start with sounds that matter makes. Can you guess this sound? If you guessed a bell, you're right. How about this sound? It's a horn. We can tell what some kinds of matter are by the sounds they make. Here's another mind game. This one will be a little bit harder. Do you know what this is? How about a clue? It's a dog. OK, how about this? No clues this time. What's this? It's a leaf on a plant. Our brains and our head take all the information about all the matter around us and help us figure out what everything is. Hello, and welcome to Greet the Master's Painting Gallery. I'm your host, Sir Donald Morgan III. We are here with world-renowned artist Arthur Big Art Tempura. I'm sure most of you recall how Arthur has been hailed the most innovative and ingenious artist of our time. His most famous painting, simply titled Blue, brought big art to the forefront of the art circuit. But three years ago, he disappeared from the public eye, locking himself away in order to completely focus on his work. We are here today to see what art has taken three long years to create. Mr. Tempura, or Big Art if I may, the world has been waiting to see what you have arduously and painstakingly created. Can you show us what you have been working on for the past three years? Sure, uh, sure. Uh, uh, this one I call a red. It's red. Uh, yes, uh, and this one I, I call a yellow. Yellow. And uh, this one... white. It's not even painted. This has been Sir Donald Morgan III. Join us again next week on Greet the Master's Painting Gallery. I'm here at the Museum of Art, figuring out what the colors of something are like the colors in this painting would be one way to describe matter. All the reds and blues and greens and yellows and all the colors here tell us something about what we're seeing. They tell us that this is a cat. And even though we know it's a painting, our brains use the colors to help us figure out what the artist is trying to share. Another way to describe matter is by its shape. This is an amazing sculpture. We find out what artists are trying to share with us in a sculpture that's made of matter by describing its shape and its color. By looking at the shape of this sculpture, I can tell it's a... Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure, but shape not only helps us to figure out what something is, shape also helps us to describe what something looks like. You can describe the shape of this ball as a sphere. A can of soda can be described as having the shape of a cylinder. A block like this one has a cube shape. 
This building has the shape of a pyramid. And these ice cream cones are in the shape of, well, a cone. Not all matter is made of the same stuff. That's why different kinds of matter don't always look or feel the same. Uh, like this hammer. It's actually made out of different kinds of matter. The top of the hammer that does all the hammering is made of metal. And the handle down here is made of wood. That's two different kinds of matter in the same object. The metal in the hammer is actually made from iron that's found in certain kinds of rocks. And the wood, well, that comes from trees. Put them together and you get a hammer. What to wear, what to wear. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's all made of matter. Everything in this closet. All the clothes you wear are made of matter, but they don't all feel the same, do they? That's because they're not made of the same kind of matter. For instance, this shirt, this is made of a kind of substance called rayon that comes from trees. Like this one. And this is made out of a substance called polyester. That's like the stuff that plastic soda bottles are made out of. And this shirt, this one's made of cotton. Cotton comes from the soft fuzzy part of a plant called a bowl. A cotton bowl looks like this. Machines are used to separate the cotton from the bowl and weave it into fabric for the clothes that we wear. As you can see, even the clothes we wear are made out of different types of matter. Ah, I found the perfect shirt. Since different kinds of matter are made of different kinds of stuff, matter doesn't always act the same way, even if it's the same size. Here are three blocks that are exactly the same size. This one is made of a kind of metal called aluminum. This one is made of plastic, and this one is made of wood. And over here is a tank filled with water. What do you think will happen if I drop the metal block in the tank? Let's find out. It sinks. What happens when I drop the plastic one in? It sinks too, but the wood block floats in the water. You see, there are lots of different kinds of matter that do lots of different things, like sinking and floating. But you know what? I'll bet I can even make aluminum float if I shape it just the right way. in science history. The year is 1886. World-renowned scientist Albert Einstein at age seven makes a remarkable discovery. While running through his house in Munich, Germany, against his mother's very specific instructions not to, little Albert trips on a rug and drops his new microscope, which, after a brief moment suspended in the air, breaks into many smaller pieces on the floor. This event impacted young Albert profoundly. He learned three things that day. First, that matter can go through a physical change. Second, that things are made of smaller parts. And third, that you should listen to your mother. She knows what's best for you. This has been Headlines in Science History. Many different kinds of things, like this robot, are made of smaller parts. There are things like screws and these wires that help make it work and become part of the whole thing when it's all put together. But did you know that all different kinds of matter are made of smaller parts? Some parts are just too small to be seen well with our eyes, but there are things that we can use to help us. This is called a magnifier. Some people call it a magnifying glass because long ago magnifiers like this one were only made of glass. Well, this magnifier is great for helping us see all the parts of things like this flower here up close. Flowers are part of a plant. They have petals and wonderful parts that you can take a look at. Here, take a look for yourself. 
But what if we wanted to see even smaller parts of things even closer? Well, if we want to see really small parts of things up close, we need to use a better magnifier. Like this one. This is called a microscope. With a microscope, we can see all kinds of things up close. Like this sand. Here, take a look. See how the tiny grains of sand are all kinds of shapes and colors? You can't see that with your own eyes. Here, let's take a look at a piece of cloth up close. Wow! You really couldn't see that with your own two eyes either. And you know, with an even more powerful microscope, I bet you could see the smaller parts of those smaller parts. So where does it all end if we keep seeing smaller and smaller parts of matter? Truth is, we don't really know yet. Matter is stuff. All kinds of stuff. Some matter is made of metal. Some is made of wood. Some is plastic. There are lots of different kinds of matter. The matter we see can be many different colors too. Red, blue, green, yellow, orange, black, all kinds of colors. Matter can be hot or cold. Matter can smell good or bad. Yuck! Matter can come in all different shapes and sizes too. Our planet Earth is very big. It's made of matter. The Earth has a sphere shape. Grains of salt are very small. They're made of matter too. If you could see salt up close, you would notice that it's shaped like tiny cubes. All the matter in the world is made of smaller parts. Sometimes we could see the smaller parts. Some parts of things are so small, we need a strong magnifier or even a microscope to see them well. Your body is made of smaller parts. You have eyes, ears, fingers, toes, all kinds of smaller parts that make you a little different than everyone else in the world. The next time you look at something, anything, a favorite toy, a delicious snack, a blue sky, anything, the stuff you're looking at is made of matter. As you can see, there are lots of different ways to describe lots of different kinds of matter. And all matter is made of smaller and smaller parts. So how small can little parts of matter get? Well, that we just don't know yet. But maybe we can find out someday. You and me. Science and me. Thank you.